Hey there, it's Chad Bonja here for High University Library, standing in front of Jackie O's Brewery in Athens, Ohio. Some of my students are currently working on the brewery industry, and this video is going to show them how to actually find market research and industry reports on the brewery industry in the United States. So, here you go. Well, it'd be awesome to hang out at Jackie O's all day long. Unfortunately, we probably wouldn't get much business research done. So, I'm back in my office here to show you some of the excellent tools we have that can help you research the brewery and beer industry in the U.S. So, here you go. Here's the tools. So the first place we'll look for industry information is uh, Standard Poor's Net Advantage. Uh, once you get here, if you just click on Industries, and we're looking for basically anything to do with the brewing or beverage industry. Uh, here we have there's an alcoholic beverage and tobacco uh, industry right there. Click the little little triangle, and we get a nice little report there. You can actually look at it in PDF format if you want to. These average between 30 and 50 pages usually. Pretty good information there. So you can have all kinds of nice charts and, and some uh, textual analysis of the industry, things like that. Uh, if you like, you can also go over here and click on Downloadable Company Data, and that will open up an Excel spreadsheet with, you know, all these different kinds of, of materials here or data here that you find in, in the report. You can get it in Excel format there. So that's one way to get really good information and really up-to-date, uh, updated every six months industry data for, uh, for the uh, brewery and alcoholic beverage uh, industry. Uh, Mintel Oxygen is another great place to look. This is more uh, on the consumer side of who drinks beer and, and uh, adult beverages and, and things like that. Uh, in order to use this, you got to create a personal profile there. Just click there and use your Ohio ID and create a personal profile. Uh, I will log in as me here and show you real quick, uh, agree to their terms and conditions there. And then the easiest way to do this is just go up and search for beer in the top search box. And you'll see the all kinds of reports that we can get here. So here is... Uh, the U.S. market in beer from December of 2011. Uh, these reports average about 100 pages in length, so really nice place to get good in-depth information, particularly as it pertains to the consumers and who is drinking uh, beer. So a great resource to look at for uh, consumer information, industry information, market research informa information. Passport GMAT is another great tool when researching the uh, beer and brewing industry. Uh, the easiest way to actually find information here is just to go up here and search for beer in the U. And you can see, as we start searching that, we have beer in the U.S. We click there, click the search icon there, the little magnifying glass, and we get a good list of results uh, from, from that search there. In our list of results, we have things like uh, this global company profile, which is a good report. Uh, gives you things like uh, strategic evaluation, things like that of the company, market assessment, a SWOT analysis, all kinds of good stuff there. You can see this is from last December, so pretty, pretty good uh, recent information there. Uh, if you also look here, there is a beer in the U.S. Uh, category briefing. This is another place to find market research reports here. It will give you headlines, trends, uh, all that kind of stuff, uh, competitive landscape, uh, prospects. If we go on down, there's all kinds of category data down here that can be really useful when when analyzing the the, uh, the U.S. beer industry. So in your search also brings up all kinds of different reports here. Beer for women, clever market, or just insulting. You know, some, some good information you can find there that would be really interesting. Uh, if you're finding, you're finding too much information here, you can actually go over on the left-hand side and limit by geography. So if we just want USA, we click USA there. And so now we have 187 reports versus the over 1,600 reports we got before. So a great way to, to, uh, to limit your research there in Passport GMED. IBIS World is also a good place to get an overview of the beer industry. If we just go in here and search for beer or brewing, whatever you want to search it, uh, it will give us a list of results here. And here we have uh, breweries in the U.S. Uh, here's a nice little industry report. These are typically updated three or four times a year or so. Uh, we see this was last updated in February 2012. And it gives you uh, basically things like major companies, competitive landscape, things like that. So all kinds of good information uh, that you can find there. It references some of the major players. Uh, in, the, in the industry, things like that. So a great place to look for, um, for uh, analysis of breweries in the U.S. Business Source Complete is a great place to search to fill in some of the gaps of your information. Um, just kind of a quick tip here to show you. Uh, if you're searching for breweries, we see we get over 10,000 results. We find things from like applied thermal engineering, uh, things like that. So we really don't really want that kind of uh, level of, of information there. What I'm looking for in here, what I'm looking for in industry analysis, is I'm looking for trade publications. And what you can do is go down and limit by trade publications there and click update. So this will get rid of things like applied thermal engineering, but give us things from national liquor news, give us things from beverage industry, particular publications that are by people in that industry, for people in that specific industry here. So we go down here, we see there's another beverage industry. 
Uh, so lots of good articles, good ways to find information from people who are in that industry, written by people for that industry. So uh, you can bet that folks from IBIS World and Passport, GMID, and Mintel also read these kind of reports uh, or these articles. So it's a good place to get good information from uh, from other places in um, uh, other than just some of the major uh, industry and market research um, providers. One source is also a great place to look for this kind of information. Uh, once you get here, you're going to click on one source. And you can actually go in and search for your company. So we could go in and look for Ambev or, or Molson Coors or things like that. Or you can go over here and look for industries. And let's just search for beer. And here we have alcoholic beverages. Uh, it kind of puts it all in the kind of the same kind of broad um, uh, industry category. Uh, you'll notice it lists breweries there, but it puts it in the one source industry of alcoholic beverages. We'll click there. And what I'm looking for primarily are these uh, market research reports here, okay? And some that I find particularly valuable, uh, these data mine reports are okay. Uh, the BMI reports are, are, are decent as well. But what I like to find is these Fredonia focus reports. And here we have one for Beer United States, uh, also distilled spirits, wine, and beverage industry overview. Uh, Beer United States is uh, pretty nice. We have um, a, it looks like a 22 page report and it covers uh, these various industry overviews, trends and forecasts, structure, and things like that. So another place to look for uh, industry analysis of the beer industry in the U.S. Hopefully this helps. If you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'd be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.